The Would You Could You on a Train Mystery is an intriguing case that blends elements of a classic children's book with a real-life event leading to various conspiracy theories and public confusion. Here is a comprehensive look at Would You Could You on a Train. The Hoboken train disaster was a tragic incident that occurred on September 29, 2016, when a New Jersey transit commuter train crashed into the Hoboken terminal in New Jersey. At approximately 8.45 a.m., a New Jersey transit train from Spring Valley, New York, failed to stop as it entered the Hoboken terminal. The train crashed through a bumper stop, went over the concourse, and slammed into the terminal building, causing significant structural damage and a partial roof collapse. The impact injured 108 people, including the train's engineer. There was one fatality. Let's take a look at the life and devastating death of Fabiola Bittar de Croon. Fabiola Bittar de Croon was a 34-year-old woman whose life was tragically cut short in the Hoboken train crash on September 29, 2016. Her story is one of a vibrant, accomplished individual who had recently moved to the United States to start a new chapter with her family. Fabiola was a native of Brazil and had a successful career there. She worked in the legal department of SAP, a global software company, until she moved to the United States earlier in 2016. She held a master's degree from Florida International University's College of Business, graduating in 2011. Her colleagues and friends remembered her as a talented, genuine person with a big heart. Fabiola relocated to New Jersey from Brazil with her husband, Adrianus, Don de Croon, and their young daughter, Julia. The move was prompted by Don's job with an international liquor company. The family had lived in Hoboken for less than six months before the tragic accident. The mystery began when a strange broadcast occurred two days before a train crash in Hoboken, New Jersey. The broadcast included a snippet of the Dr. Seuss book, Green Eggs and Ham, specifically the line Would You Could You on a Train. The unusual nature of the broadcast, combined with the timing of the train crash, led to a surge in conspiracy theories. Some believed it was a deliberate act or a signal, while others thought it was merely a technical error. Despite official explanations, some community members continued to believe in more elaborate theories, suggesting that the odds of such a coincidence were too great to ignore. The phrase Would You Could You on a Train has since taken on a life of its own, becoming a part of Internet law and a subject of various discussions and analyses. It serves as an example of how a seemingly innocuous phrase from a children's book can become entangled in real-world events, leading to widespread speculation and conspiracy theories. Cubed is a weekly series in which I break down iceberg charts that cover a vast range of the creepy and bizarre into tiny, cubed-sized chunks, giving each mystery its very own video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creepy.